Hey guys, Zero here. We got another quick unboxing. Um, I picked up these two, maybe two instead of one like normal. Um, the Plague Marine Champion and the Plague Marine Icon Bearer. Um, again, I have these models, but I picked them up from my local gaming shop because we had a 50% off Games Workshop product sale. So I snatched them up because I'm going to use them for Kill Team. Um, and we get to the table and take a quick look at these guys. All right, thanks for watching. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at these two miniatures. Um, we have the Death Guard Plague Marine Champion, which they made an individual model for. I don't know why they made that model, but I guess, well, actually, I think I do. Uh, and the Plague Marine Icon Bearer. So, um, when they released the Dark Imperium box set and all the Chaos releases came out, they came out with a, a box of Chaos Space Marines, obviously, and it came with an Icon Bearer as well. Um, or you could build him as a, you know, something else. So, I'm assuming that they made these two characters for either adding to your original Chaos Space Marine squad uh, from, from uh, you know, the, the, the separate squad box or adding them to the easy build space marine set because in that set you got like i think there was a champion as well and then there's a grenade launcher a guy with a grenade launcher or blight launcher and then another just a regular marine so i'm assuming these guys would go to that or with that but i don't know i i already own these two figures i actually own them as soon as they came out and they were about 21 dollars a piece so it's not too bad for a single character. Um, they uh, they come on one sprue, single sprue, one base. Um, they're pretty much, uh, what do they call it, um, monoposed, you know? And I know a lot of people right now are complaining about that. Like, they're, people are worried that the Sisters of Battle are going to be monoposed and things like that. But you know what? Um, I've dealt with models since the very beginning with pewter and actually with lead where it's just one solid piece and you know uh, the second series where it was a couple pieces of, of, of pewter and you had to glue them together, pin them and stuff like that. And you know then on to the plastic where it was a multi-part plastic kit like Space Marines were like legs, torso, arms, head you know hands you could you could customize those guys like nobody's business but you could customize them all before as well you just had to do a little more work these monopose figures that you know everybody's i i feel like yeah the prices should be lower since they're monopose but at the same time the detail that G games workshop has done on these new models i mean it's just it blows anything that it's come in the past out of the water it was great having in the i actually have the original death guard models the metal ones i had the forge world you know uh torsos and conversion kits and these by far are the best looking models that i've seen come out of for that faction or for chaos or you know what i'm saying so you can't you know the quality of the miniature is way beyond what they used to be so you can't compare the two but mono posing is not bad i i who cares if it's in one pose you know what I'm saying? You get you do get options with some of the guys. Like some guys get different bellies or different, you know, uh, torso pieces or heads. You know, so you can swap them out. Yeah, it's the same pose, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you're talking about chess pieces on a game board, you know. And if unless you're playing like Kill Team, which is why I bought these two guys. I bought them to use as either a Kill Team or, uh, you know, try and reconfigure some squads. You know what I'm saying? And... My, my buddy had a sale going on for 50% off and I, I, you couldn't, you can't, it's 10 bucks. I couldn't resist it, you know what I mean? So I picked them up. So we will start with the champion. I already cut this open just to save time. You get your 32 millimeter base, which I actually like now. I'm actually, I'm growing really fond of the 32 mils and whenever I look at a 25 mil, I'm like, geez, how did that guy fit on that tiny ass little base? So you also have your instructions right on the back of the card. It's pretty straightforward. You know, he, the parts go where they're supposed to go. Again, you could convert this guy if you want to. You can do all that stuff if you really, really want to. But 
you know, it's it's not really necessary. All right, here we have the mini. We'll zoom in for you guys so you can see them better. I apologize. I know the lights like really weird today. I don't know if it's because it's raining outside or, but here you go. Single sprue. Yeah, you see, you glue the front part of the torso on to the rear part, and it's, it's like I said, it's it's mono pose, but it's actually pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a little closer for you guys. The amount of detail again on these miniatures is just phenomenal, and you know it's funny because I picked up the getting started in Warhammer 40K and getting started at Age of Sigmar one and two magazines, you know, with, that came with the free figure, and th those even those figures were they were extremely detailed, you know, like they were they were for for a free figure. In a, in a $10 magazine, or 5 and 5 if you want to call it that, for a $5 mini, that, that Primaris guy and that, you know, uh, Stormcast Eternals, they're really well done. You know, and when you put them next to... I bought a box of Liberators, and I, you know, to do the swords. When I put them next to that guy, you can't tell. You can't tell the difference. So their quality level is just so much higher. The artists are more inclined to be sculptors and stuff like that. And, and it's just, you know, like I said, you're paying for the process. You're not just paying for a piece of plastic, you know. Uh, and also the stats. Like, the better the guy is in the game, the more expensive he's going to be. So here we have the Icon Bearer. Again, the Chaos Space Marine Squad box comes with an Icon Bearer. It's a little smaller, but if you wanted it, because each one of those Marines in that box set has a different option. Like, you can have two options for each of those Marines. So he can either be like a flamethrower guy or the icon bearer or he could be the multi multi guy or you know a regular marine or he could be the the, the champion or the heavy weapons guy you know what i'm saying so or, you know what i mean like you, you can mix and match not really heavy weapons like plasma guy or whatever but yeah again it's just a single mini you know i kind of like it and I, I think like when i first started collecting the death guard i was like damn why are they releasing these guys all mixy match you know like the easy build kits it's the same thing with the pox walkers the pox walkers you get in dark imperium you know they're 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 one way but then when you look at the pox walkers that come in the easy build kit or the no fear kit the no fear game or first strike game sorry they're different there's like six different pox walkers so in total there is uh 16 different pox walkers you know so that's that's kind of cool you know what i mean like once i put everything together i was like oh you know most of the guys in my death guard are pretty original you know so that that that's a cool thing to me you know what i mean like i originally didn't want this army to be that big but it's gotten into apocalypse size now so it's you know there's just so much cool stuff for death guard and i actually have other chaos factions too i have you know an undivided faction uh the crimson's uh slaughter and i also have a thousand suns faction and now i'm going to be finishing up a black legion faction because of the new stuff maybe i don't know if it depends on if i get abaddon but you can see all the detail in these models you know it's really crisp really clear single pose again but you know it's a single pose but if you actually look at the models you know some of this stuff can actually be manipulated i could take that power power fist off and put an arm with a, a, a bolt gun or something. You know, you can cut this banner off and put an axe head or something. You know what I'm saying? You could take this arm off because that actually comes off and just put a whole different weapon on there. You know what I'm saying? So you can do some converting. And I'm, I, I know people. I, know, I have a friend who's probably one of the best um, fabricators when it comes to miniatures and models, my buddy Joe. He can, you know, he can convert anything, so you can too if you really wanted to. Now I'm going to give you guys a quick look at what they look like when they're built. Okay, so these are the two guys here, and I'll get them closer to you guys so you guys can see them. We'll do the champion first. He comes with a little nurgling. He's wearing his helmet. 
thought that was cool. A lot of the guys come with nerglings now on their bases, and I, you know, it's interesting. I don't know if that's coming through that detail, but you know, I actually got like rubble and stuff on my base because I want them to be like in an urban environment, like urban city, ruined city. But yeah, that's the champ. Ready to smack somebody with the people's elbow. That big right hand. Maybe I should paint it red. And here we have the icon bearer. Again, you know, you, you, you can you can manipulate these models as much as you want to. You know what I'm saying? Like if you really wanted to, you can convert the hell out of these guys. And they're plastic, so it's super easy to cut, snip, pin, glue, you know. I apologize. Guys, my hands are shaking. Um, it's a side effect of one of my anti-rejection meds. So, you know, I'm actually, the more they lower the med dosage, the less I'll shake, which I'm hoping is soon because I really want to get to painting these models. I have so much stuff to paint. But you see, I mean, not bad. You know, um, they're not special characters by any means or anything like that. But, you know, they, they, it'll provide some, like I said, either I'm going to do a kill team, uh, which you can only have a couple, you know, Plague Marines in the kill team anyway, because it's really, you know, the point cost is so high. Um, but I'm either going to do a kill team, or I'm going to use these guys as uh, color testers, because I'm, I'm on the fence about what color to go with the Death Guard. I know I painted them green, I, I primed them all green. But I want to kind of touch on some of the bone color that they used to have when they were, you know, in the Horus Heresy. So, you know, because this armor is really dated and uh, broke and, you know, antique. So I want it to look like they're still the Death Guard from the time when they were warped. Or the time that they were in the warp and they were changed by, you know, Grandfather Nurgle. I want them to kind of look like they still have some of the remnants of the old colors in their armor. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I'll probably use like some bone colors and dry brush and some streaks and stuff here and there, you know, to kind of make it look like, hey, this used to be white armor, but now it's corroded and corrupted and decayed and rotten and stuff like that. So there you go. That is the um, Warhammer 40K. Uh, Death Guard. Uh, Plague Marine Champion and Plague Marine Icon Bearer. And, you know, who doesn't like Death Guard? Alright guys, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, uh, if you know anybody who's into this type of stuff. Also, uh, I'm going to put a link below to my email or my PayPal so that if anybody wants to support the channel anything you guys can give would be very you know helpful a uh, dollar whatever it doesn't matter um, i appreciate all of it and i appreciate you guys you know helping me out all right guys thanks for watching